All right, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another tutorial in Maya. Today, what we're going to look at is something really cool. Uh, we're going to create a spaceship or, you know, just some sort of vehicle. Um, could either be a, like a boat, could be like a plane boat, or it could be something like, you know, an intergalactic cruiser <laughs> right up here. Okay, anyway, the cool thing about this is that I created each one of these um, vehicles out of a sphere and um, a sphere is a really easy thing to model and um, basically just with a couple of tools so even if this is your first tutorial in Maya you should be able to grasp this concept and um, we're basically just going to model you know a, a, a vehicle or a craft um, out of a sphere and so as you can see here these are some of the spheres that I was working with and basically I just chose some faces and then um, you know just sort of moved them around uh, maybe pulled them up a little bit pull them back a little bit um, we're gonna use the extrude tool and the and we're gonna be working in the face mode so essentially we're gonna create our own spaceship here in the time of this tutorial, which is gonna be about 15 minutes YouTube time. So <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is what we're looking at. I built these in less than probably 10 minutes a piece, maybe even six minutes a piece, and it's really easy to do. I'm gonna pause my, uh, my playback there, and let's just start a new, like a new scene. Just start a new scene. And I'm going to say, ah, I'm going to save those. Um, one of the things you'll notice is that the student version, uh, which is the one that I work with um, because I'm an educator, um, you'll see that this shows up all the time. And it just tells you, <laughs> you know, this is for personal learning only. So anyway, I, I don't know if this is uh, Autodesk's way of saying, hey, students, you know, you you're just learning. You can't use this for, um, you know, creation of commercial type stuff so anyway that's all that's saying and you know what um, Autodesk is a great company this is a great program and it's we're just so fortunate to have our I'm so fortunate to have this program at 350 bucks or whatever it cost me <laughs> okay so uh, it's worth every penny even if you had to pay the full amount for a pro version when you get there it's worth every penny so hit continue all right, now my grid isn't showing up because I have it turned off. So I'm gonna come up here to show and I'm gonna come down to grid. There's my grid. Okay, so let's create a quick polygon. We're gonna create a polygon sphere. And in this case, um, I'll create a sphere, but let's see how many faces it has. There's my sphere. And I'm gonna go into a shaded mode, maybe put the wireframe on there. and. As you can see, the sphere right here has a lot of faces on it. Well, that's that's good if you want to do a really kind of highly detailed model. So uh, in this case, I probably chose 360 or something. I don't know. We could go and uh, look inside of our shape, our sphere, polysphere one tab, and see that this is 36, you know, by 36. So that's cool. All right. Well, let's get started. I'm going to choose this and you know a, a craft or a vehicle is normally like a bullet shape or it's like a cigar shape or something like that so what I first want to do is maybe just choose my scale tool and let's just scale it down in the Y I'm gonna pull that down there like that so now it looks kind of like a disc and as you can see there I've got a disc and in this case let's take a look at it by just choosing our, our roll tool here and I'm going to pull this out because, you know, I don't really want a disc. I want more like a bullet shape. So let's just go ahead and grab the scale tool again and we'll scale it out in one direction. Kind of like that. All right. And that's a little big. So we might go there and I might scale it in a little bit. Okay. So now I kind of have a surfboard shape or some sort of bullet type shape. And I can take a roll around and see kind of what it looks like. I might want to actually give this one a little bit more I think I'll go a little bit more like this anyway you get the idea we're just working with a sphere and now we have a bunch of faces as you can see um, 
I have faces everywhere. So let's just look at it in terms of geometry and pick like some sort of um, geometric pattern that might make sense. And in this case, I think what I'll do is I'll just start with this area right here. And I'm gonna go into um, face mode. So I'll right click and then go to face and let up. Now we're in face mode. If I choose the choose tool, I can come in here and kind of grab or select faces. So on the first face, you'll notice that the, the pointer lights up and you can start choosing. So let's just choose some faces and try and do it in a geometrical pattern, okay, or, or something with a little bit of coherence. So let's say we choose this one. If you click there once, you'll notice that it highlights. Well, that's cool. And what we want to do is after that is press the shift button and we want to select some faces in sort of a geometrical pattern. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click here or shift click, then shift click, shift click, and just keep holding the shift button down as you're selecting faces. Okay. As you do that, all of these highlight and we want to select all of those faces and sort of you know give them an even amount on either side and I think let's see I think that looks about even yeah I'll try that now one important thing to do when you're selecting faces is sort of go into your roll tool here and check to make sure that nothing on the bottom has been selected okay so nothing's selected there so that looks cool now what i might want to do with these faces first is just move them a little bit so i'll choose the move tool and let's move them up all right and that looks good but let's move them back too okay i'm going to take my uh, uh, roll tool here and yeah that looks pretty good Okay, so now that I have that as a starting point, I may want to just come up here, make sure that you're in your polygon menu set, and maybe, maybe choose um, Edit Mesh, and we'll do an Extrude. And what that's going to do is, because these faces are still chosen, we can extrude them a little bit. So I might pull this up, and I might pull these back a little bit. Okay, and now I might go to the Move tool, and then grab there and move those back. And let's come back up here into our roll tool. You see where we kind of have some even geometry. Everything looks pretty cool. And remember, we're just uh, kind of free form. You know, we're just doing this free form. So let's say we have that. That looks pretty good. And all right. So let's choose some more faces here. I'm going to come up here into my choose tool. Let's roll around a little bit and maybe let's put something on the back end back here. Eh. Okay, so I'm going to choose the back side here and do a little sweep with this. So let's just go make sure you're on your choose tool. You can see where your faces light up here. That's all good. And let's maybe just do the center section here. I can kind of tell that's my center. So I'm going to click on, let's click on this one right here and then shift click all the rest of these. Maybe just down something like that, shift click. Okay, and now what I wanna do is move those down a little bit. So I'll go ahead and grab the, uh, the move tool and I'll click on my move and we'll kind of pull those down. Let's give them a lot. All right, and you may have to move around here a little bit to see what your sweep is looking like. Okay, that looks pretty cool to me. All right. There's a plane going overhead, so. <laughs> okay, so let's just say we leave it like that. That looks pretty good. And let's save this. Um, I'm going to basically go back into um, object mode. So I'll uh, right mouse click, and that'll give us our options here, and I'll go back to object mode. All right, now that's an object. Now. You can see where it kind of has some hard edges all the way around. Um, that's because we're we're not really smoothing yet. And in order to smooth this out, I might want to choose my number three. Like if I hit two one on the keyboard, 
that's what it is now. If I hit two, you can see where it, it changed a little bit. It smoothed it out a little bit up in here. Now I'm going to hit three. And now you can see where it, it really has sort of, you know, sort of gotten more round. And that's just the smooth mesh, okay? So I'm sure most of you are familiar with your smooth modes. So anyway, that's kind of what we have. So I like that. That could be like a power boat or a speed boat or something. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. All right. So let's say that's our boat. Um, you can go ahead and, and play around with choosing any of these faces. As long as you're in face mode, choose your object and go to face mode right there. And now you can choose all sorts of faces. So. Uh, let's just do a few more and then we'll conclude this little tutorial and you can go on your road to building your own intergalactic space cruiser <laughs> or whatever. All right, I'm going to choose some uh, faces on the back end here. All right, and uh, maybe come down here. Let's just sort of make sure we kind of choose the same amount on, on both sides. Yeah, it looks even. Okay, now I want to look, look at this kind of from that view. And uh, I'm going to move those basically up. So I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to pull this back. All right, that looks pretty tough. Okay, so there it is. Um, let's go back into uh, right mouse click, go back into object mode, and there you go. You have your own really cool power boat, or whatever, <laughs> or at least the start of it. Now, you know, texturing and complexity is, is sort of what you have to look for when you're making a model like this, because, you know, the more faces that you create on your, um, on your sphere, you know, kind of the more possibilities you have. Um, it's just going to take you a little bit longer to, you know, make sure that you have the right things chosen. So let me show you something interesting here too, though, on the offset. Let's come over here and right click and go to vertex. Okay. Notice that you can now pull in and choose any of these vertexes in here. So let's just say down here, I want to come up here and move the bottom of this, this down a little bit. I might want to go there and then go to my choose tool and and just like click on this very center point right there where they all intersect or maybe just uh, sort of click and hold down drag and select that area now if you do something like this with a vertex make sure that you go to the other side and if hopefully nothing will be highlighted over here that's yellow Okay, so I think I think we're okay with this. So I'm going to go ahead and try a pull maneuver and I'm going to click my choose tool and move that single vertex down. Okay, so I'm going to move it down and then I think I might pull it back a little bit. All right, so I just added, I did a vertex um, change. And you can see where just by moving that one vertex left us with a whole bunch more possibilities to do some uh, geometry shaping. So. Anyway, uh, I'm going to right click, go back into object mode, let up, and there it is. Okay, so that looks pretty cool, but you get the idea. It's just about the concept here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my grid off of there by deselecting my grid, and uh, let's take a look at it. Yeah, cool. So you can see where there, there's all sorts of possibilities with modeling um, just a simple sphere um, into something that looks like it <laughs> It might tread water. It might float. I don't know. So anyway, great. Well, I hope you had a good time with this tutorial and um, take care and thanks for watching. And as always, read a book, learn something every day and be the best person you can possibly be. <laughs> Thanks for watching.